tears, the pain too much to bear for some. Tens of families shifting focus from the ill-fated mall to the mortuary. Those who made the journey here had hoped they would not have to. There is one bullet that tore direct through his eye. There are two others that has shattered his head and three others on the chest. But inside here was this group, those who failed to find their relatives in the hospitals and the mortuaries, including here at the city mortuary. With little information coming from the mortuary administrations, they opted to wait. The Kenyan government says the siege at the Westgate Mall is over. However, at the city mortuary, hundreds of relatives wait for the remains of their loved ones. At the mortuary, officials say there are no more unidentified bodies, begging the question. Where are the other remains? Towards the tail end of the operation, three floors of the Westgate Mall collapsed and there are several bodies still trapped in the rubble, including the terrorists. Tens of councillors were here to console those who had lost their loved ones. Still, it was the missing numbers, at least 71, that have councillors worried. It's difficult to cope with that kind of situation when you don't know, when you are hanging in the air. The Kenyan government's focus now shifting to the Westgate Mall. Here, forensic teams go down at the scene of the terror attack. The Kenyan government says the FBI, Interpol, Israeli, US and British forensic experts are assisting in the investigations. Kenyans are now beginning to speak, demanding justice and answers on how the terrorists managed to plan their attack without being detected. Death should be paid by death, nothing else. Because if you let him live, he will do the same to another person. Across the country, flags flew at half-mast as the nation began three days of national mourning. Sarah Kemani, SBC News, Kenya.